All right, what up, guys? It's your girl, Manit Meeks, and I am back with the season finale of Fallout. Listen, my eye is burning, so if you see me touching this, it's because my eye is on fire, right? It's like watery and on fire. Don't ask me what happened. Uh, I'm going to forego the intro because I'm just ready to get into this. I don't think you understand how excited I am about the shits and shenanigans that's happening. I have so many theories about what's going on at Vault 31 that's affecting Vault 32 and 33. And I'm going to say that it's going to be like, um, see, I don't want to spoil stuff for the games because it's in the same universe. So all of the stuff technically matters. Um, it, I feel like it's just like a, a, a computer or a man in a computer controlling stuff and having like a bunch of Cogsworths and stuff around him. I could be wrong because it sounds like circus music. So he could just be having random happiness and then they could like unfreeze somebody and send them over or something like that. I don't know. Um, but, um, I don't know what's going to happen to Maximus. I don't know what's going to happen to Thaddeus since Thaddeus is officially a ghoul now. Um, we were talking about the history between the ghoul, our ghoul and, um, Moldover. History is long and strong and she's still alive out here walking around like she's just fine, but you don't have to look like him, the ghoul to be a ghoul. So, um, on that note, let's go ahead and jump into the season finale of Fallout episode eight, the beginning. We're oh, okay, thank you. I'm like, oh, we can't skip? No, we're skipping. Norm is crazy. Norm is super crazy going in here all by himself. He has no sense. No sense. That is craziness. Wow. It's so cool. Birdie bird! That's why you shouldn't have played games. You could have been out there twirling and flirting and, and dorting and nobody would have been able to stop you. If you'd have just been like a teeny tiny bit honest. I had to double check to make sure that was a thing. I had to check to make sure. She at the state building? It's her what? It's her what? Who are you? Oh, the observatory. I was wondering. I could, I completely forgot. I completely forgot they said the observatory. Sorry, you know what? This already happened. Yep. I'm coming. What is this? Wait, who is that? Dang it! You mind if I bring him by just to meet me for a moment? Of course. Yeah. Is Henry Hank? Don't do that to me. Because after all, what is the ultimate weapon of mass destruction? Knowledge? Being alive. That's what we've invited you here to discuss. Yes. And how do we design our vault society so our children... Is that her? Future. Listen. I suggest we hedge our bets. Wait! I am the overseer here. My orders must be followed. Why isn't this working? This is Conflict Resolution 101. It's a frozen vault, isn't it? <laughs> Who is that? Not brain on a Roomba. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> this is Fallout Four. Don't let him stick you, though. Keep a failed nation alive, so we kept Vault Tech alive instead. A well-trained staff of highly Betty, Hank. Good, intentionally. Overcrowd of vaults, so people have to compete to survive. Mm. Potential with the end of the world. But we're talking about making a significant investment. Isn't that her husband? I'm Henry, but uh, everyone calls me Hank. Can you smooth this face out? They 
sentencia fuerte y formal. This is our chance. And you socked him? War never changes. Got my bingo. I got my bingo. I got my bingo. <laughs> you said you could give me an autograph? Oh my God. Oh my God. Back to where she came from. A vault. It's a place that's peaceful and safe. I had oysters. Are they going to a vault? My thing is, if she knew this was gonna happen, why didn't she have Janie with her? That was everything the vaults had promised. She is lying. That's why she felt the sun. Luce! Look at me! Look at me! Luce. He's always the bad guy. What happened to her? Is she behind you? That's trash if she is. Give her the coat. Will he? Can you? Give her the coat, Dad. So she founded? The... No, wait, hold on. Like, this is the reason why vault didn't make no damn sense. It's, it's the reason why vault didn't make any sense. Like, you guys tried to have all this shit planned out. How in the hell are you going to predict what people on the surface are going to do? Is she in there? Not him going back in his hole. That's what you get for investigating by yourself. Bruh. I did what was necessary. It don't make no sense. To save our people. Are we saved? Not that woman over there. She is no different than me. Nope, she was in the vaults as well. She was frozen as well. Ma'am, you should have pushed the button. But you stopped being your mother when she left home. Goddamn. I mean, I've already got my, uh... Verdi Bird crashes or explodes. Oh, shit! Forced to do horrible things in order to survive. Yeah, those are regular ass people. Jeez. I, don't want to see I can't believe they showed us the end of the show in the trailer. That's brilliant. Ah, goddamn. Oh, Jesus. Tomorrow, so they say. This is literally from the trailer, and it's the last episode. Action, but to get rid of the factions. To make the world us. Only ours to shape. Like, how does that make sense? You can't get rid of them. There's always going to be a faction. There's always going to be friction. There's always going to be somebody with a difference of opinion. There's always going to be someone with a different way of doing something. Like, that's why it doesn't make any sense to be continuously fighting and trying to eliminate the other people who are doing things differently than you. <laughs> but this is like the beauty of Fallout because you can see this shit from a mile off and there's nothing you can do to stop it because people are going to people and war never changes. <laughs> 
God, I love the show. I love the series. I know, cause, well, I used to wear one back in the day. There was only one problem. Go ahead and tell him. Wow. I'm gonna need you to move, honey. Baby, you gotta go. Oh no. Let's go. You're not gonna go home. What you finna do, girl? Matter of fact, my mom is not about to be living like that. I can tell you right now. My mom's gonna have to go somewhere. She's gonna have to be blessed and highly favored in the name of Jesus. Because I can't do it. What are you doing? Oh, my nigga ain't got no head. Is he gonna pull a bullet in his head? Are you that thoroughbred? Are you the realist? It was that dad? Lucy, you're coming with me. He gonna hit him right in the bus prey, huh? Oh, goddamn, never mind. You're not that smart. Did you moiter him? Don't you Romeo and Juliet me. You came all this way for me. She did. You're not gonna hurt me. She's a wastelander, baby. Pull the trigger, nigga. Double dog dare you. Can you pull the trigger? Now I've waited over 200 years to ask somebody one question. Where's my daughter? Fucking fam. Come on. Wake up. Did he really kill Max? Come on. Go on. Please. Did he really kill Max? Y'all, I can't even. I'm so... War never changes. You look out at this wasteland, it looks like chaos. Somebody shoot mom. Get her ass the fuck out of here. Mm-hmm. But you let him go. Well, it's easier to track a stuck pig than to ask you where it's off to. Yep. They will kill you and it. Everybody here. Mm-hmm. You better follow him out of here. I have so many things to talk about at the end of this. Shoot her. You better shoot your mom. Don't leave her like this. Yeah, right behind you. Come on, girl. Is he dead? You trying to tell me the nigga is dead? Y'all don't believe it. I'll find you. That's, I don't want him to be dead. Because that's not cool. That's not cool. That's not cool. Okay, okay. You better give me sinister music. Come on. Give me sinister. That's why she should have pushed a button when she was there. I don't understand walking away from the ready button. 
Good. Lucy. Lucy, my nigga, you was knocked out. I mean, there's nothing you can do about it. Lucy. His feelings are gonna be a big hurt. Look at you. Like, how long has it been? Lucy. Did they already destroy everything? My God. The button is still at the ready? Wow. What do you suppose your brotherhood would do with infinite power? Conquer the world. If they could. like this might require a separate video <laughs> i feel like this might require a separate video i gotta get my thoughts together i don't know what i'm gonna do we three, we come on lucy come out the hole we three one two three lucy one two three Even company, exactly I shadow and me. come on Silvery moon light that shines above. I will not you putting <clears throat> and there's the death claw. But where is the one I love? So technically I have two, not him out here. We'll wait for you. Even till eternity. Why does this look familiar? What is this? Is that New Vegas? No, it's not New Vegas. It's not Megaton. No, it's not. No, it's not. This was a fantastic video game adaptation. This series firmly let me know that there's a particular YouTuber who has no idea what she is referring to. And it's only because she doesn't know the source material. She has no idea about the source material. So she loved episodes one through five because they were so wacky and woo. But Grace hated six through eight. And I can tell you, six through eight is my favorite because the lore that was luring in these episodes. <sighs> and it makes sense. It, the reason why I didn't want to mention this, because this is a spoiler to some of the stuff that's happening in the games. Um, according to the Fallout history, I want to make sure I'm, I should pull it up, but this is just off the top of my head because I'm just like, this might be a whole nother video in itself. But according to the Fallout lore, the year right now in this series is 2296, and it is the year that the NCR was destroyed, which coincides with what happened. Moldover was the last leader of the NCR, the New California Republic. The Brotherhood squashed them. And Maximus, his name is very interesting because um, the Brotherhood split between two leaders. And one of the leaders 
had a name that resembles Maximus. So at this point, they've combined a couple of different things to put them together at the same point in time and then just split them like they should. Because this is how that there, that there are two versions of the Brotherhood of Steel, the ones that is focusing on helping the community, helping like rebuilding. And then there's the other ones that's focused on gathering all the tech. And the one that we saw in four was the one that was focused on gathering all the tech. Like I masterful, like knocked out the freaking park. I swear, I swear. And the frozen, like the, the, the heads, the frozen people, the cryo frozen people in that vault is similar to what happened in fallout four where they just cryo froze this particular vault. It wasn't full of, of head honchos or anything, but it makes sense that they would try to keep their head honchos together and frozen and dole them out over time so that they can, you know, I wonder, I wonder if we go back, can we see them? I have so many, I have to, I have to look up so many things. I really do. This might be a separate video. This might be a separate video. Um, but seeing as everybody in that in vault 31 were executives this is they literally showed us vault tech getting together with all the major corporations and kicking off this war simply to control and it makes sense that they would try that but what doesn't make sense for me with vault tech is that they did all of this banking on the fact that they could just outlast the people on the surface. But if you're experimenting in vaults, how are the people you're experimenting on going to outlast them when you're doing crazy shenanigans with them? Like we still don't know what was really going on in vault 32. We, we really don't know what happened in vault 32. But the people inside have been dead for two years. So throughout that whole entire time, nobody thought to like peek in on Vault 32 and be like, hey, what's happening? Like nobody thought to do that. No, no overseer, Hank didn't think to do that. My God, it was so good. I, I'm, I'm shocked. I am shocked how good this is. It's amazing. It's literally amazing. I have no complaints other than that it ended and it's too short. And I hope that they greenlit season two because we gonna need it in the name of, you know what I'm saying? Hold on. There is no official word on a season two. Well, they need to hurry up and make it official, like a whistle, bitch, because I need that. So let me pull up my little list. Here's my bingo. <clears throat> so I went ahead and did the cold fusion as mysterious pre-war tech. Um, and then, of course, war never changes. That had to pop up. And then the death. Uh, oh, my God. What's it, what's it called? The death. The uh, the the. Thank you, Death Claw. It's like Death Source, Death Head. Death Head is somebody else. It's a different game. But the Death Claw was shown on the screen, so that counts as well. So these are the ones that, and of course, the Verde Bird Crash. I'm trying to think, is there anything else? No one said Kims. There were no skeletons weird. There was no Mannequin Strange. Nobody did this. There were no locks. Um, nuclear protection on budget was not mentioned. So the one that I originally got, the straight across that I marked, was the conversing at gunpoint, booby trap door, of course, a Nuka Cola free space, um, surprise creature attacked, and war never changes. Like, listen, that's my first bingo. My second bingo was the Verdi Bird, um, Behold, my pre war stuff, the conversing at gunpoint, songs from the games, and mysterious uh, pre war artifacts. Like, this is, I, I've got nothing. This is probably gonna have to be a second video. This is probably gonna have to be a second video and I don't know how to do these type of videos so it may never happen. So if you see it, just know I'm sitting here rambling with points. 
because I don't do those type of talky videos. But I love Fallout so much and I'm so involved and engrossed in the lore that this might be a video. So on that note, guys, um, thanks for hanging with me during this. I hope they do season two. This is this is uh, rekindled my obsession. I might play three in New Vegas. Matter of fact, I might all the way go back to one. I might try it. I don't know because it's a different style of game, but I've never played it before. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? I don't know. But I like it. So on that note, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.